productivity did not used to depend on the happiness of the worker, right? And now it absolutely does. The concept of the modern office was really serving the purpose of the corporation and less so the individual. People don't want to work like that anymore. The Herman Miller OE1 workspace collection is furniture for wherever work may take place. Because it covers so many areas, you know, tables, screens, storage, technology. You can't really create a menu and then tackle it. Instead, it actually evolved from one piece to the next. A table leg would influence a storage unit, which would then influence a screen. So this was a gradual kind of building of a program. You could argue that's you know, a really strange way of going about it. But then if you think about it, the beauty of a city like London is it's also like that. It's not really a city that's planned. It's just kind of nooks and crannies that evolve themselves and create reasonings for the way they are. And that's their charm. And I think that's a, a decent process to follow. So you don't figure out all the answers first and then go build it. You are asking the questions and answers simultaneously. OE1 was always intended to work alongside other things that already exist. You know, to not say, oh, you've got to replace your entire floor plate to get the benefit of our system. Instead, it's saying, try a few pieces of furniture, see how it works, let your company culture evolve. So OE1 allows offices to reconfigure themselves more rapidly, where previously they were beholden to a floor plan for at least a year, if not five. So now change can be more rapidly played out and teams can be accommodated quicker, easier, more flexibly. With nearly all of the products, there is this gradient of what we call one minute, one hour and one day. So if I want to move a screen from here to there, I can do it in a minute. If I want to move a desk with power, maybe it will take me one hour. And if I want to totally reconfigure an office using the agile walls to make a different floor layout, I can do that, but it'll take me a day. It's not that everything's on wheels and everything has to move and it's all chaotic. There are deliberate gradients of agility. So a storage trolley, because it doesn't use the language of, of the office necessarily. It, it could be used in the kitchen, it could be used in the bedroom and you put a TV on it. It could be used in a home office or in a, in a workplace. It's not defined where it should go. And the reason that's so important is because work nowadays is not really a place. It's an activity. And so that means that the furniture needs to be able to live in all sorts of different environments, different situations, but to be able to perform these different activities wherever they may happen. We were on the trajectory of thinking about exponential change, the speed of change, and then the pandemic hit. And the pandemic became a kind of ultimate test. Like, would OE1 be relevant post-pandemic? The yeah. relevance is just extreme, it's just bizarre. I mean, no one predicted that we would become so flexible and agile so quickly in terms of, you know, being able to work in the kitchen or in the garden. The beautiful thing about OE1 is that it's not more of the same. It really is a kind of a departure for how things are produced and made in a more of a responsible way, how they can be flexible and agile and grow and adapt with you, and how they can be customized and made for you as, a, as an individual um, or a company. It's so invested with so much care and love and the desire for people to be healthy at work, you know, and to feel good. And I'm hoping that the furniture is read with that in mind and evaluated with that in mind because I think it should hold up to that test. <laughs>